Founded here in this field of things in the mint family, actually two members in particular of the typic genus from that family, two lamiums in the genus lamium. We've got um, the hinbit, lamium aplexicale, and then we've got uh, what's called the purple dead nettle, lamium purpureum. Both of these have been eaten in Europe at different points in time, and um, both of them have the square stem that is very characteristic of the mint family, and both of them have some pretty characteristic smells in and of themselves. The purple dead nettle isn't actually uh, the most appealing smell for a mint, but um, nonetheless, it has been eaten traditionally, and when you cook it, you just throw these little heads into a saute, into an omelet, into um, some kind of cooked food preparation, basically, of your choosing, then um, the smell really isn't an issue at that point. So you can see more on those uh, with the video in this series that Robin Allison did um, earlier. Now we've got <clears throat> another two pretty common garden plants at this time of year both kind of prostrate, which means low growing to the ground, okay? So uh, one of these is chickweed in the Caryophyllaceae family, um, also home to the carnations and to dianthus and uh, that sort of thing. Actually a family where there are a few foods, but a lot of things that aren't food, uh, versus the mustard family and the mint family that we talked about where most things are foods. So this chickweed, uh, Stellaria media, is uh, nonetheless a prime food for this time of the year, uh, full of vitamins and minerals and, um, and also very healing and uh, emollient to the skin. So it can also be used for topical applications medicinally. Basically one of the best plants going right now in the wild garden. At the same time, sometimes it can be confused um, if not paying close attention with this Veronica in the Snapdragon family, the Scrofulariaceae family. And uh, this Veronica uh, pretty much is not an edible, um, might be medicinal at times, but something that you would um, pretty much want to distinguish very clearly from the chickweed. The Veronica has teeth on the leaves versus the chickweed, which the leaves are entire, they're totally smooth all the way around. So that's uh, one of the easier ways that you can tell them apart. Also in flower, the chickweed has white flowers with five petals that have been bisected, so they actually look like ten petals. And the veronica has these little pretty blue flowers that are uh, four-petaled, often with a little bit of yellow and white mixed in. So you can um, pretty distinctly tell them apart through those uh, different characteristics with the leaf and with the flowers, and thereby um, spare yourself that confusion. And uh, that's just the start, you know. Out here we've also got yellow, uh, well, let me talk about this one um, a little bit more in depth too while we've got it right around. You can see I haven't even moved yet. I've got a whole meal for me and a, a lovely photographer that we have here today and uh, whoever else you might choose to feed without any problem. But um, this is something that is in the onion family, okay? And um, it's a wild onion, possibly Allium vineali, but in the Aliaceae family. Used to be in the lily family, and so the big way to tell them apart is just to pick one and give it that smell. And if you get that onion smell, then it's typically in the onion family, certainly around here in Appalachia and many other places across the world. And the cool thing about this is that if you have a garden disturbed soil, you can pretty much a third of the year have wild onions available to you at your call. Just go pick some. Use these especially like chives and scallions pretty much interchangeably. But I use them even in the place of garlic and other things that are in that onion family and that onion genius for that matter. And um, as I was saying a minute ago, though, that's just the start. We're surrounded by so many other things. And uh, I hope that you will be intrigued, inspired, and look for yourself to see the hundreds of things that are around you you can bring into your life for great benefit. Thanks a bunch.